Good morning. You remember Tom from when we went to Vienna? Hello. We're off. Where are we off to? San Francisco. So have you worked out what your schedule is? Anything? Like, have you looked at the? A, a little bit. Because we got our post session on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Elon Musk is giving a talk on Tuesday. Oh yeah. And then the guy who's the CEO of the X Prizes is there on Monday. So okay. I'd like to go see those. Yeah, yeah. Um, they've obviously got Star Wars. <laughs> that, I, every time when we're talking about schedules, I'm mentioning Star Wars because that is frankly why we're going. <laughs> yeah. We checked in. This is Dave. Is, we have been friends for how long have we known each other? Fourteen odd years. This is David lives on my road. You might remember him from my Draw My Life video. He was the one... Actually, no, I didn't draw you. I drew an Imperial Aquila and talked about you and Michael. I somewhat dismissively referred to him as a friend I used to walk to school with, which is definitely, like, understating it. So David's coming to the conference from Bristol, doing a PhD. What's the... You're giving a talk? Yes. What's the talk on, in layman's terms? In layman's terms, it's about using satellites to look at how much lava's coming out of a particular volcano in Ecuador. Are you nervous? <laughs> okay, we're on the way to the gate, which is about as far away from here as it's possible to like physically be. Monterey, 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 Monterey. Oh. oh, it's like 2001, but in reverse. What a hunk of junk! <laughs> Can make the Kessel run in five. Hang on, how many parsecs? Five parsecs? I can't remember what the quote is. Something like 4.2. But it doesn't matter because no. parsec is a unit of distance. <laughs> David, are your S4s locked into attack position? Hell yeah, road leader. <laughs> As David has pointed out, we are in fact going up a ramp to, to get onto our plane. That is, we're on the upper deck. Like a member of crew, no one can easily have your bag move further forward. If you have any questions, please ask a member, ask a member of crew. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think much of the screens they've given us. Like. They didn't seem terribly interactive. Go on, Murray! Hang on, so let's focus. Come on, that's my face. You're definitely not in focus. This, that's, that's what a vision looks like at the moment. <laughs> it's just really blurry. Oh, come on, you useless cat. We made it! We're in California. David, are the girls unforgettable? Have we seen any yet? So we just made it through, we picked up our bags, they're all down here. I've been entrusted with them all, whilst they all go to the loo. Um, that was a really long flight, really, really long, and it was a bit weird, like everybody, I mean there was loads of good stuff on the entertainment screens, like movies and stuff, but it was a bit like um, Wally with all the people watching their screens. A bit strange, really. And apparently my body thinks it's three o'clock, or four o'clock in the morning, and it's actually eight, apparently. Yay, looking forward to bed. We're finally in the hotel. We had a bit of a palaver. Um, there was an issue of people, basically, the university's paying for this, um, but they hadn't had any money. So I just had to spot this, uh, and then the university's gonna have to pay me back. At least I really hope they do. But look at this, the room's really cool. And check this out in the street behind me. I don't know, I wanna say like a classic American view. It's like all the like, neon street signs and stuff, proper city stuff. And I think that's the cinema where we're gonna go see Star Wars on Friday. But I am unbelievably ready for sleep. California and it's really really nice. <laughs> I can't get over how good the weather is. <laughs> yeah, literally as soon as we arrived. So Nina Nina incidentally is a PhD student from Exeter. She's are you giving a talk or a poster? Poster. Um, who uh, has the displeasure of living with me. Um, and you've managed to not appear in any of my videos yet. Managed to run away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna go, go and try and find some, like a big American breakfast or something. And then I think we might be, because it's raining, we're gonna do registration and then we might be going to the Exploratorium. Yes. This is your first time in America. What are your first like initial thoughts, your observations? Um, things are big. Yes. Um, and road crossings are strange. <laughs> This is very deep cultural commentary. We'll get more out of you as the week goes on. <laughs> Hello. They're really pretty, I think. Right, so that's breakfast sorted. Just met a, a seal. I've always called it a sea dog. That's why I tend to think of them as. Now we're going to the Exploratorium. <laughs> Science! 
I don't think I can describe how excited I am by this place. <laughs> I just ruined Nina getting a picture of a falling water drop, but I think we all like is the fact that if you look at the water drop, there is in fact a little upside down sign. <laughs> So we're just walking back to the hotel and Tom has been dropping fact bombs because on the way here he did research on the plane. He watched the film San Andreas. Um, what, what was it? Co um, Nob Hill. Nob Hill. Nob Hill is named after nobility. It was the hill where all the nobility used to live. So there we go. We've learned something about San Andreas. According to that film anyway. Yeah, the, the film which has Dwayne the Rock Johnson as the main character. And yeah, yeah. It's full of scientific inaccuracies. So says our geologist friend. We actually don't know that. So yeah, that's one. The Exploratorium and, and Clam Chowder ticked. We probably actually better do some science at some point today. Mm. So something else which is worth saying is that, I mean, I, I, probably more than anyone else who's seen in this video, is more than a little bit obsessed with movies. And I think when you're talking about America, you in, well, when you're in America, you, you think about, like, I don't know, take the Avengers for example, you see things and think, oh, that's how it is in the Avengers. You know, they have those the grills with steam rising out of them. Um, and you kind of, I think I have this, you slightly fetishise it in a way, I think, I think that would be the geography term. You fetishise those bits of culture and that you associate them with the films and you think, oh I like this, it's like being in a film. And that distances you from the fact that you're actually living here. People who live here do exactly the same things that people in the UK do. It's just that they do things which you recognise from movies. Um, and maybe but that wears off after a while, maybe it won't. I don't know. It's interesting. So something which I haven't filmed about this lift yet, it makes a tuk-tuk noise every floor we go past. <laughs> Even if you don't stop at the floor, it's just like, it's like, oh, you're going past the floor. That's Boom. nice. Yes. All of that is science. All of that, that's the Moscone Centre north, south. That's the Moscone Centre north. And that's the Moscone Centre West. All of that, all of this, apart from the cinema, which is the Star Wars place, is science. And we're in the middle of all these skyscrapers. And the Children's Creativity Museum behind Tom over there. Look at this! Look how much science is going to happen here! 25 odd thousand people are going to come here. So for more perspective, this is the whole room where all the posters are going. It is apps, there are, well, 3,200 places for posters. Like one of those boards, like that one, maybe, that's going to be us. So I'm hoping my poster will fit. Some of these posters are already up. Someone is really keen. This is the, the night of the first day. Someone is really, really keen. Thank you, random lady. You're probably someone really important, but we don't know who you are. Sorry. Poster! We put Tom and I picked up our posters. Hey. And it's got dark in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll unfold this bad boy in a minute. But you have travelled quite a bit. How does America compare to the rest of the world? Well, it's still similar enough to England when you compare it to like Asia and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Everything's but just. I'm liking the big city aspect. Something that's lacking in Exeter. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks a bit different. <laughs> No, but for me it's food, like the variety of restaurants, the fact that it's like Asian meets Western culture is amazing. The yep. fact that I've had like, I've had a sushi rito, which is a sushi burrito. <laughs> Where Sounds quite interesting. Where else are you going to have that? So you've got the burrito down in Mission, you've got the sushi, you've got all the Chinese influence, you've got all the burgers, and it's, it's, yeah, really like We're all quite big fans really, aren't we? <laughs> Now that 
layer between 10 kilometers and 50 kilometers in altitude is what we call the stratosphere, and it accounts for almost the entirety of the remaining mass of the atmosphere. So yeah, let's see if I can remember this all. Um, if you want more back front videos with John and I just talking about stuff, then please comment below. Um, make sure you go and look at that singing playlist of, of choral music about Christmas. Comment below with which one piece is your favorite. You know, just have a listen to a few on shuffle. Oh wow. <laughs> oh no, you shouldn't be looking at this. Don't look at me. I'm hideous. I'm a monster. I'm going to get right in on that. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, that was the same as picking up birdies. Oh, okay. Same thing. <laughs>